Hey guys, welcome back to my vlog and YouTube channel. To all my subscribers, welcome back. To all the new people on my channel, please like and subscribe guys. Welcome. Please let's grow this channel. So today we are going to not do much, just remove this week, this U part week that I've installed. And then we are going to install another week not install so to say just show you guys because this one doesn't need installation this is a week that you can put on and get going so yeah so stay tuned and watch me do my thing so here i had bobby pins in just to hold hold the the week on the side so it just doesn't move around these combs guys yo i'm telling you suffer for beauty is it's a real thing and i think the saying suffer for beauty probably came from a man because i think a man understands women's troubles when it comes to to beauty and stuff so I had crocheted this hair into my own hair so I need to try and unravel get the hair out of my hair and trust me it was really painful when I was also crocheting it but I would rather I prefer a new part week as well because it doesn't require you to do countless number of hair installations but the problem comes with this because this is synthetic hair guys and it's just so epic because I just can't okay it's coming out from the side it's painful it's really painful Try to get out this hair. Cause I just want to say something. Um, since I lost my my dad recently and, and stuff because a lot of people just trying to rock up and pretending to be there for me and I know who my people are I know who's always been supportive towards me yes most of the people knew my dad and some people really genuinely did love my dad and they did love us Genuinely. But then there are some people who've always been rooting for our downfall. And I am actually the one person whom a lot of people have been attacking spiritually. You know, I've gone through so much. I've gone through so much in my life and My dad has always been there. Even though at some point we had no our relationship was interfered with and things weren't going as well. You know, and you know, I would understand my dad because we were all also traumatized by my mom's death and you know so, ain't nobody had it easy. So, yeah. So, since my dad's passing, there's quite a lot that's been happening on my side. My partner has been very, very supportive towards me. My brother. 
we have a good bond with each other and stuff like that. But then there are people out here who think that I cannot run the household and stuff. So people are growing up giving me all sorts of advice and, you know, look, it's not a problem, but I will go with the advice that I feel works better for me. And one thing I don't want is people think that because of my past and because of what they heard about me that I might just uh, mess it all up. Look, we all grow up at some point. We all, oh my gosh, I'm just going to have to cut this and fix it some other time because I can't continue doing this. This needs to come out. It's okay. I said, guys, there's a bad thing about synthetic hair. It's effed up. So, yeah. Cut it out. Because, wow. I just need it out of my hair. So, yeah. You know. I don't mind people giving me advice. And, you know. But then, the thing is. For some people, they don't really know me. I've been through so much in my life. And, you know, some point, and, and it, it has been a journey. It has been a roller coaster ride. And today, I'm proud to sit here and say that if it wasn't for God, guys, I would not be sitting here. But... We always praise him and we don't forget him. In bad times, I always praise him. In good times, I remain praising God. So for me, for people to come and assume that I don't pray, that's something else. For people to come and assume that I have nothing under control. Yes, I understand people are concerned because I just lost my dad and they think probably I am still, you know, there. I'm going to tell you right now, and I know where my dad is right now. He knows I have things under control. He knows that I can do this thing. He knows that I'm currently busy making better choices in my life. He knows. He knows. He knows. Him and God, they both know. So, yeah, for me, for someone to walk up and just say that, um... I'm, or to think that I'm not responsible. That's somewhat kind of an insult to me, but then somehow I understand that these people don't really know me. Don't take it the wrong way. I do appreciate the advice, but like I say, at the end of the day, it is actually a good feeling to know that there are people who actually really care about you. Thank you to God. <coughs> I am able to discern between what's good or who's good for me and who's who's bad for me. You know, I'm able to. So it's really not a big deal. It's not something that we should. It's it's really not really in a discussion. Yeah. So this is a curly pixie week, guys. It's a human hair week. That I bought again from uh, Sina's Temptations. Yeah, so we're trying to to grow through Sina's Temptations because I built a good relationship with her. And um, we are really good, so. We are really good. This thing feels so tight. Okay, let me move it backwards. So I bought this pixie wig because, like, I just felt like I wanted something that would look a little bit uh, 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 natural and that would... It's a little bit shitty because I didn't wash it, but I'm going to wash it. Shedding a little bit and oof. It is a little bit tight. 
but if we're too tight so i'm not gonna gonna close it but then rather just hold it with the bobby pins because uh -huh. he, Oh, I'm with my son at home, by the way. This thing is so tight, guys. But the hooks have hooked themselves in for life. Yo, okay, I'm not gonna close the hooks because, you know, uh -uh. I'm gonna deal with the, with the whole, um, whatchamacallit? A whole headache situation right now because I'm about to sleep. So yeah, you know, it is the type of things that we are saying, guys. We need to choose to, we need to choose our circles. So I tried to with the hair. Oh, so it's very shitty, shitting too much, but then I will try to, to wash it when I get the time. So I was thinking of doing some edge situation, but I don't want to cut my wig. So what I'm going to do, guys, when I'm really literally rocking it, I'm going to show you guys. So yeah, this is the wig. So, but then guys, like I was saying, at the end of the day, you need to know the people who you hang with. We need to choose our circles, guys. Because people are not happy. People are jealous out there. People are envying you and me and stuff like that. And all we do is just live our life and, you know, be good people. When somebody is looking for help, you don't hesitate because you know the person. So we need to watch our backs. We never really know who true friends are. So in my time that I was going through a lot, I have my true friends that i know we don't talk every day we don't hang out together every day we don't see every day but at the end of the day i know that if i'm in a problem the person will come through for me most definitely so yeah um in in some instances in some cases most of my closest friends i never really called them in, I let them know what I went through, like, in certain situations of mine, but, um, you know, because I didn't want to make them feel like they are being pressured, and I didn't want them to carry my baggage on their shoulders, which, of course, it's not how they felt about that, because they were very disappointed at me at the end of the day for not reaching out. But I wanted to fight my battles on my own. And at the end of the day, I did it. It's the same way I'm going to pull off everything. And I'm going to talk to my plans with God. And he knows. I know what it is. Purpose for me in this life. So yeah, guys. That's all I'm going to leave you with. I'm just going to leave you with a word of encouragement. I'm going to tell you to never give up. To never ever give up. There is a living God out there, guys. You shouldn't care what people are saying, what people are judging you. And you know what God has done for you so far. So continue believing in him and continue praying with him. So people will always judge. People are people. People will always talk. Just keep on doing what's good for you. Just keep on, you know. You don't have to do it to show them. You have got to do it for you, yourself, and you. It's all about you. Put yourself first. So here you have it, guys. This week is 100% Human Hair Week from Sinner's Temptations. I'm going to put down um, the link in my description, description box. Or you can, and her number, of course, I'll put it on my YouTube in the description box so that you guys can highlight her. I got it for an amount of a mere 400 Namibian dollars. Yeah, so for those of you who follow me on Instagram and on my Facebook pages, you are most definitely welcome to definitely, and I mean definitely, DM me for more information on how you can get the week. Guys, let me, this is the end of my vlog. Let me love you, Ellie.